Welcome back to my channel everyone. So today we're going to be looking at probably the last part of this video tutorial series where I explain how to get your character, well get your clothing and armour onto Character Creator 3 and um, get all the weights onto the armour so it rigs nicely and moves nicely with the body. So, uh, Substance Painter last time. I didn't explain how to export textures, so to go into Character Creator 3 you want to export textures and you want it to be document channels plus normal plus AO no alpha and you want size to be 4k. Um, you can also change the size here to be 4k on each one just to make sure it does export in 4k. Um, so once you have done that, I'm going to Maya and you should have all the armor that you had before in the pre previous videos I showed you. Um, so you're going to want to select one, well, the pieces you want to export at a time. So for this part, um, when I when I skin the weights, it's all going to be one bit. So I want to export this as one OBJ. So select these three bits. File export selection. OBJ, select the file name, so chest, and materials need to be on, uh, groups off, export it as an OBJ, and keep doing it for each part, so I did the chest, the undergarments, and the belts as one, I then did the armbands as one, the gloves as one, pauldrons as one, cloak as one, leggings as one, and boots as one, so I exported each one of these as an OBJ file, now, as you can see, I have armbands, boots, chest, cloak, gloves, leggings, and pauldrons. So, I've put a bra and stuff on so I don't get um, age-restricted. I'm not sure if I would be age-restricted for showing um, all that, but I, I cover it up anyway. Um, so, you want to create an accessory, bring in your chest. Now, I can delete bikini morph. Right, so when you draw that in, you'll find you have your textures here. So as that's red, that is the chest piece. So chest map, and this will be the undergarment map. So you want to do diffuse color to change that to white, and then bring in your textures. So we've got undergarment, that's chest first. Um, so chest, metallic, and bring it as a unique material. Next AO, um, roughness, and you want to bring your normal direct X, and that's all in nicely. Then you go to your undergarment. Material base color, metallic, mixed AO, roughness, and normal. I don't tend to bring in the height maps, um, mainly because it makes it look kind of strange for some reason. Um, so I just don't bring in the displacement maps, um, which is usually height. So I brought that in. Um, Let's then create the other accessories and do the exact same with all the other materials. So let's do armbands. So I'll do this and I will probably resume the video just after I sort everything out. Right, so now I've got everything in there. So all the armor is on, all the clothing's on. Um, now you're going to want to skin the weights, so transfer skin weights. Um, what you're going to do is save the project just before in case it messes up and crashes. So save. Um, yeah, start with boots. So boots. I should do that last. Leggings, transfer skin weights. Leggings, you want to do default. Um, you have default dress, gloves, shoes, hair, cloak, and other. Other is many accessories. Um, gloves is gloves, dress, dress. You can see what it says there. So default, then let's do gloves. Transfer skin weights, gloves, 
So this, I've skinned the weights of the gloves, leggings, now chest, you can do the same here. So when you've got that, you might find random sort of artifacts hanging through your clothing. So little bits of skin that just come through. So um, if you had clothing like that, so you have skin going through the clothing. One thing you can do is sculpt. Click sculpt that, you have radius intensity fall off. I'm pretty sure you know what those do, but radius just changes the size of the circle. Intensity changes how much it's going to raise. So what I found when I transferred the skin weights of the pauldrons was they, um, they sort of stretched because they were sort of um, skinned of everything. What you want to do is with pauldrons and like um, pieces of armor that will be rigid is if they're shoulder pads, select this bit here. So that long bone, not these little small ones, but the long bone and just completely fill the meshes by doing skin weights, um, operation, you know, uh, plus sign next to the paintbrush, radius strength, just max it out, and the same for this side. So click on that bone and do the same for that. Now for this piece of armor here, I did the exact same thing, but because it's on the lower part of the arm, you want to select this long part here and do each side at a time. The boots should be fine, the legs should be fine, everything should be fine apart from those bits there. Um, the cloak I found um, bent a lot because it was sort of um, skimmed with different areas of the bones in a weird way. So what I did was selected lower spine and just filled that lower part. So that's gonna move the lower part. Then if you select smooth, that's going to smooth out that little edge right there so that it doesn't move rigidly. You want it to all move and flow together. So you did the lower part, then the middle of the spine. That was all a bit weird. I don't know why that's like that. Um, so yeah, that bit's going to move that spine. You can sort of increase it a bit if you want. Then keep going up the spine and yeah, so that bit of spine, then the higher bit. Yeah, so when that's all done, the cloak should be quite nicely um, skinned or if you want to go into Unreal Engine and use um, cloth simulation, you can do that. There'll probably be an Unreal Engine or a different software. I know you can do it in iClone, but you can't export out of iClone with the cloth simulation. So that'll be that. Now, if you're still finding that the skins are going to go through the clothing when you are animating, a good way to stop the skin from going through is to actually hide some of the mesh. So with this main bit here, what I'm going to do is hide body mesh tool. And I can select different parts of the body that are going to be hidden behind that mesh. So I want to do maybe all that bit for that. Let's go to the arms. You can click, you can click hide here if you want to be quick about it. Let's do that hide um, so that's where we're hidden for that area um, the gloves are a good area that you'll find the hand move well the hand goes through the glove so let's hide the body mesh here when you find when you go on hide body mesh you'll have basic and advanced so if you go in advanced you've got a lot well, you can do smaller areas at a time. So up here, let's do that. 
and because some of that is hidden, well, some of that's hidden where I don't want it to be hidden, you click the arrows and you show. Let's do that and show. And then same with the fingers. Let's do that area there, show. Do that, you can see the, yeah, you can see the hand is hidden underneath the glove, but you can't see it's hidden with the glove on. For some reason it wasn't mirroring, so Do this. Why is that like that? Let's do that there. Show. And yeah, that is hidden there. And let's do the same with the boots. So with this area, you're not, you're not going to need any of this mesh underneath. And also another good point, hiding the body mesh is it decreases the amount of polys. So let's do all this. And select those, hide. Now the leggings, let's do the same here. So yeah, I mean that should be that for the hiding body mesh and the rigging. So let's see if it works. It sort of works. Um, you can see the sort of shoulder armor and that armor has just, it moves nicely with the arms, which it's supposed to. So everything moves well, apart from the cloak. So all you gotta do is go back in here, skin weights. Right, so that is going to need to do way up there, so let's do that. And then smooth it out. Skin weights, and the cloak is now moved a little bit nicer than it was. So most of the time it is just um, trial and error with skinning. You've got to keep doing it until it works. But yeah, that's the character all done, rigged, ready, and when you're done, you can just open Unreal A, pose, file, export, FBX cloth to character, select Unreal, max texture, embed, current pose, delete hidden faces, and export to Unreal Engine. Um, I can go through that in the video if you guys want me to. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff online which go through it, but if you want, I could probably explain it in about 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, if you guys want me to go through that, let me know. But yeah, that's the end of that tutorial series. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed it. I hope it was very helpful to everyone. Let me know if it was. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know what my next series should be about because I need a new tutorial series. So yeah. Um, until then, uh, let me know what I should do next and I'll get on it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.